Hello, and welcome to the review of the Waters of the Wade Tarot. Um, first, some history about the deck. Um, but here are the Major Arcana, as I talk about the history. Um, the creator of this deck was Arthur Edward Waite. Um, he's the one who commissioned the cards. The drawer of the cards, Pamela Coleman-Smith, is the one who drew them for him. This deck was made back in 1910, and um, it's not the first deck of tarot that existed. Um, 1480, when Tarot Marcellus is what some people consider to be the first deck, but um, when you ask anyone for a deck to start with, like to begin, or start learning tarot, or ask most people what their first tarot was, or first tarot they saw, it was this deck. Because it is classic, it has been made over and over again, many different times, there's um, different versions of it, let's see, they, they call it the classic Rider, de Rider de Wait deck, the traditional Rider Waite deck, the albino Rider Waite deck, the universal Waite deck, the golden Rider deck, the Rider Waite deluxe tarot deck, there's the glow in the dark, there's the quick and easy deck, um, this deck's just been made so many, so many times, but still, either way, it's really cool. Um, this deck I got with a um, s book set called was Tarot for Dummies. I honestly just wanted the book, but I mean wanted the deck, but the book well, the book was bonus. Actually, it turns out the book was actually quite helpful. It gave me more into its history and all that. Um, these cards have a very very colorful history. Um, the symbology is just really simple and very clear, straight to the point, and they don't say words. Um, the only cards that have words on them are the Major Arcana, naming what they are, and each of the Aces and the Court cards. The Minor don't have words at all, which I really like. They speak without words. Here's the Minor Arcana, starting with the Wands. Anyway, but um, this deck, these cards are used in many other decks, and as well as um, these cards are remade in other different styles. Um, for example, um, there's the Gummy Bear Tarot, which replaces all the people from the Rider Waite Tarot with gummy bears. Crudely drawn, but really neat and kind of cute. Then there's the 8-bit Tarot, which I have done a review on, as well as the gummy bear, um, where it's taken all these cards and put them into a state of 8-bit, making them look like something from an old video game, which is actually really cool. Um, one thing to note is that the cards, uh, no matter how how they look, they could look really difficult, but they actually, put, all of them have very simple symbology behind them that very few people actually know. Um, that's what I find neat about these cards, is that they actually don't say a lot with words, they say everything, well, with pictures. Um, here are the cups. Um, something I've learned about these deck, this deck, um, it actually set a precedent. Um, a lot of cards, ooh, um, a lot of cards are reused in other decks, or the symbology is really closely used, for example, here in the four, that you see that a lot. Compare these cards to a lot of other cards in my other videos, and you will see a lot of similarity. Um, this deck also has opened up a style. Um, some people might ask you the style of the deck. Well, um, there's many different styles, but two styles, or formats in some cases, as I see, are this. There's the Rider Waite format, and there's the Terra of Marcellus format. The Terra of the Marcellus format is, well, only the ma Major Arcana and the Court cards have, um, or actual people, or show actual um, scenes on symbology and iconography. Um, well, as of all the minors, the ace through tens, all are just, well, as of what they are. Here are the swords. For example, the, um, wands are just, well, the ace of wands is just a hand holding said thing, and then it just shows then two wands in this card, then it just shows two or three, three of them, four, and it does that with each of the different suits. Um, you'll see that a lot in some, I think, really older decks, and in some newer decks people do that. Um, I honestly think it's actually kind of lazy not to add 
pictures or scenes because, well, I think the Minor Arcana, they may be minor, but they still have a lot to say regardless. Because a lot of people just look at Major Arcana of, card, of the decks and cards. I like looking at the Minor. They are just as cool. Um, and then the Rider Wait format is, as you see here, um, Major Arcana are the stars of the show, and that then, but all the Minor Arcana have scenes depicting different things too. Um, and the courts as well, obviously, are going to have a scene, but the all numbered cards of the scenes as well. Here are the pentacles. Um, this deck I also like because it's also got the classic suits. Wands, cups, swords, pentacles. A lot of decks you see change clubs to, I mean, will change wands to clubs, batons, staffs. Um, I've seen cups change to chalices, but same basic thing. In some cases, bottles, um, cauldrons in some, bowls in others. Swords have been changed to sabers, arrows, and spears. Pentacles, the ones that actually are changed the most, to discs, to spheres, to coins. Um, you name it. But some cases, I can see them being changed just due to the fact of the theme of the deck. But this deck doesn't have much of a theme, yet it speaks loudly. A lot of decks you'll see are usually themed, which themes are good, but they don't make a good deck if the pictures aren't good. I mean, a theme, a theme could be awesome, but the cards themselves could be lame. But anyway, um, well, that was the review of the Writers of the Weight Tarot. Um, I hope you join me again to see my other tarot reviews.